From the towering skyscrapers that dot the urban skylines to the intricate rail networks that connect far-flung regions, South African developers are reshaping the physical and economic fabric of the nation. Their unwavering commitment to progress has transformed the country, one project at a time, leaving an indelible mark on the lives of all South Africans. Here are some of the most massive ongoing projects in South Africa in 2024. 10. Anuna Smart City, a pioneering black-led development. One of the most prominent mega-projects underway in South Africa is the Anuna Smart City development. Located in the Limpopo province, this 9-hectare smart city project is being led by the Masangita Group of Companies, making it potentially the first of its kind to be spearheaded by a black South African entrepreneur without significant foreign investment. Anuna City is set to feature a wide array of cutting-edge facilities, including industrial zones, shopping centers, residential areas, hotels, medical and educational institutions, and sports facilities. The project aims to leverage the latest smart city technologies to create a sustainable, integrated, and interconnected urban environment. Unlike some of South Africa's previous post-apartheid city developments, such as Lanseria Smart Metropolis and Muay River Megacity, Anuna City is poised to be a true trailblazer, showcasing the potential for homegrown African innovation and leadership in the realm of urban planning and development. 9. Meerkat Telescope, South Africa's Astronomical Ambitions Another landmark project in South Africa is the Meerkat Telescope, which forms a crucial part of the $2 billion square kilometer array, SKA project, the world's largest radio telescope. While South Africa initially intended to undertake the entire SKA project, the Implementation Committee ultimately divided the work between South Africa and its competitors, Australia and New Zealand. Nevertheless, South Africa has been entrusted with the largest portion of the SKA, about 70%, alongside seven other African countries, Botswana, Ghana, Kenya, Mauritius, Mozambique, Namibia, and Zambia. This collaborative effort not only bolsters South Africa's industrial and technological capabilities, but also signals the growing importance of the African continent in the realm of scientific exploration. The Meerkat itself, is an array of 64 radio antennas, each with a diameter of 13.5 meters, designed to observe radio waves in the frequency range of 580 megahertz to 14.5 gigahertz. Operating as an interferometer, the telescope combines the signals from all the antennas to create a large virtual telescope with high resolution. The primary scientific goals of the Meerkat include studying cosmic magnetism, the evolution of galaxies, pulsars, black holes, and the early universe. The construction of the Meerkat began in 2014 and was completed in 2018, with the South African Radio Astronomy Observatory managing the project. 8. Molito Road Rehabilitation – Improving Transport Connectivity Another major infrastructure project underway in South Africa is the R573 Molito Road Rehabilitation. This ongoing upgrade of the regional route which connects Pretoria with Marble Hall via Groblersdal and Quagafontein, aims to enhance the road's safety and efficiency. The project, spearheaded by the South African National Roads Agency, SANRAL, involves transforming certain intersections into roundabouts and upgrading the carriageway from Quagafontein to Marble Hall. The rehabilitation work, which commenced in 2016, is expected to be completed by 2025. The Moloto Road, often referred to as the Moloto Corridor, is a crucial transportation link for the region, serving as a vital artery for commuters, businesses, and the movement of goods. By improving the road's infrastructure, the project aims to alleviate traffic congestion, reduce the risk of accidents, and ultimately boost the economic development of the surrounding areas. 7. Lesotho Highland Water Project – Harnessing Transboundary Resources one of the world's most successful transboundary water resources management schemes is the Lesotho Highlands Water Project, LHWP, a collaboration between Lesotho and South Africa. Established through a treaty signed in 1986, the LHWP involves the construction of an intricate network of tunnels and dams to divert water from the mountains of Lesotho to South Africa. The project is being carried out in phases, with the first phase already completed and the second phase underway. 
there are also plans for a third phase that will include the construction of the Poli Haley Dam. Upon completion, the LHWP will have a total of five dams and 200 kilometers of tunnels and water transfer facilities, enabling the annual transfer of approximately 2 billion cubic meters of water from Lesotho to South Africa. In addition to water transfer, the project incorporates the development of hydropower schemes. The Katse and Mohale dams generate hydroelectric power, contributing to Lesotho's energy needs and providing revenue through power exports to South Africa. While South Africa will primarily benefit from the water supply, Lesotho will gain financial resources and hydroelectricity, making the LHWP a mutually beneficial endeavor. Sixth, Madupi Power Project, Powering South Africa's Future. In the vast Limpopo province of South Africa, a colossal undertaking is underway that is set to revolutionize the country's energy landscape. The Madupi Power Project, a massive coal-fired power plant, stands as a testament to the nation's unwavering commitment to addressing its pressing energy challenges and securing a sustainable future. This $12 billion project, which commenced in May 2008, is a marvel of engineering and innovation. The Madupi Power Station will consist of six units, each with an installed capacity of 800 megawatts, resulting in a total capacity of 4,800 megawatts. This staggering scale makes the Madupi Power Project one of the largest coal-fired power plants in the world, poised to play a pivotal role in South Africa's energy security. What sets the Madupi Power Project apart is its innovative approach to energy generation. Employing state-of-the-art supercritical boiler technology, the power station aims to increase plant efficiency, reduce coal consumption, and lower carbon dioxide emissions compared to traditional wet cooling methods. This commitment to environmental consciousness and sustainability aligns seamlessly with South Africa's broader development goals, positioning the Madupi Power Project as a shining example of the country's leadership in the energy sector. As the project progresses, the first unit of the Madupi Power Station is expected to be commissioned by February 2012, with each subsequent unit to be completed at six-month intervals. Once fully operational, the power station will feed directly into South Africa's national electricity grid, contributing to a more reliable and robust power supply for the country. The significance of the Madupi Power Project cannot be overstated. In a nation grappling with energy challenges and growing demand, this transformative initiative represents a critical component of the government's efforts to address these pressing issues. By harnessing the power of clean, efficient coal-fired technology, the Madupi Power Project ensures that South Africa can continue to meet its energy needs while also reducing its environmental impact. As the Madupi Power Project takes shape, it stands as a symbol of South Africa's unwavering commitment to innovation, sustainability, and the betterment of its citizens. This ambitious undertaking not only promises to alleviate the country's energy woes, but also serves as a shining example of the nation's engineering prowess and its ability to tackle large-scale, high-impact projects that will shape the future of South Africa's energy landscape. 5. Cornubia Housing Project – Integrated Urban Development In the busy region north of Durban, a remarkable $1.5 billion project is taking shape, the Cornubia Housing Project. This large-scale, mixed-use development has been hailed as a groundbreaking initiative, poised to create the first proposed sustainable and fully integrated human settlement in the area, spanning an impressive 1,200 hectares. The Cornubia development is a testament to the South African government's unwavering commitment to addressing the country's pressing housing crisis and promoting inclusive urban development. Declared a national priority project, this ambitious undertaking aims to redefine the standard for future urban planning and community building efforts. At the heart of the Cornubia project are the 24,000 residential units that will be constructed, with a remarkable 15,000 allocated as low-cost homes. This strategic focus on affordable housing caters directly to the needs of South Africa's underserved populations, providing them with access to decent, well-planned living spaces that can serve as a springboard for social and economic empowerment. But Cornubia is more than just a residential development. It is a meticulously crafted vision for a truly integrated and sustainable community. Alongside the residential components, the project will feature 80 hectares of industrial land, 
as well as commercial, social, and public facilities. This holistic approach ensures that the Cornubia development will not only provide housing, but also create employment opportunities, foster economic growth, and cultivate vibrant social and civic spaces. Underpinning the Cornubia project's design is a strong emphasis on sustainability. Through innovative planning and the incorporation of cutting-edge technologies, the development aims to minimize its environmental impact and offer its residents a high quality of life. This commitment to sustainability aligns seamlessly with South Africa's broader development goals, setting a new standard for urban planning and serving as a model for other cities and municipalities to emulate. SA Connect Phase 2 Bridging the Digital Divide In the rapidly evolving digital age, access to reliable and affordable internet has become a fundamental driver of economic and social progress. Recognizing this, the South African government has embarked on an ambitious nationwide program, the SA Connect Initiative, to establish an equitable information society and fulfill the technological goals outlined in the National Development Plan. The SA Connect Initiative is a multi-phased project with the first phase aimed at connecting 970 government sites, including schools, health facilities, government offices, and post offices, to the internet at speeds of up to 10 megabits per second. This crucial first step laid the foundation for the program's expansion and underscored the government's commitment to ensuring that its citizens have access to the digital tools necessary to thrive in the 21st century. The second phase of the SA Connect initiative, announced in 2022, represents a significant leap forward in the program's scope and impact. Under this deployment, approximately 44,600 government locations, encompassing schools, health institutions, libraries, and traditional authority offices, will be connected to the Internet. Furthermore, the project will provide over 33,000 community Wi-Fi and broadband connections to households, empowering South Africans to engage more fully with the digital economy. This accelerated expansion of the SA Connect initiative is a direct response to the rising demand for South Africans to participate in the digital realm. By leveraging state-owned organizations and engaging with small, medium, and micro enterprises, as well as internet service providers, the government aims to drive economic transformation and bridge the digital divide that has long plagued the country. The significance of the SA Connect initiative cannot be overstated. In a nation where access to technology and the internet has been uneven, this program represents a crucial step towards creating a more equitable and inclusive society. By providing communities with reliable and affordable internet connectivity, the government is empowering its citizens to access educational resources, engage in e-commerce, and unlock new avenues for personal and professional growth. 3. Mzimvubu Water Project – Harnessing Eastern Cape's Water Resources the Eastern Cape Province of South Africa is a land of immense natural wealth, yet its people have long grappled with the challenge of water scarcity. In a bold move to address this critical issue and unlock the region's untapped economic potential, the South African government, through the Department of Water and Sanitation, has embarked on the Imzimvubu Water Project, a transformative water infrastructure initiative. At the heart of this ambitious project is the Mzimvubu River, one of the country's most important yet underutilized waterways. The Muzimvubu Water Project aims to harness the immense potential of this river, ensuring that its valuable resources are channeled towards the betterment of the Eastern Cape's communities and economy. The project's scope is truly impressive, involving the construction of two substantial dams. The Nanzamalala Dam, with a storage capacity of 490 million cubic meters, and the Lalini Dam, with a storage capacity of 232 million cubic meters. These impressive feats of engineering will not only provide a reliable water supply, but also enable the generation of hydroelectric power through the development of a tunnel and powerhouse at the Lalini Dam site. Beyond the dams themselves, the Mzimvubu Water Project encompasses the construction of a centralized water treatment works and an extensive network of bulk water infrastructure. This comprehensive approach ensures that the water harnessed from the Mzimvubu River will be effectively treated and distributed to both domestic and agricultural consumers, addressing the pressing water needs of the region. The significance of the Mzimvubu Water Project cannot be overstated. For decades, the Eastern Cape has grappled with the consequences of water scarcity, 
hampering economic growth and the well-being of its people. This transformative initiative, which has been in development since 1962, represents a turning point in the province's history, promising to alleviate water-related challenges and unlock the region's true potential. As the Mzimbubu Water Project takes shape, it stands as a testament to the South African government's commitment to ensuring equitable access to water resources across the country. By investing in this critical infrastructure, the government is not only addressing the immediate needs of the Eastern Cape, but also laying the foundation for a more prosperous and sustainable future, one where water security is the cornerstone of regional development and growth. 2. The Kusel Power Station, situated near the existing Kendall Power Station, is the second most advanced coal-fired power plant development in the country, following the Madupi Power Station. When completed, this colossal project will consist of six units, each with an installed capacity of approximately 800 megawatts, resulting in a total capacity of 4,800 megawatts. This staggering scale will make Kusila one of the largest coal-fired power stations in the world, solidifying its position as a crucial contributor to South Africa's energy supply and grid stability. The power station's coal-fired nature means that the facility will be fueled by coal supplied from a new mine located in close proximity to the site. This strategic positioning not only ensures a reliable and steady fuel source, but also minimizes the environmental impact of long-distance transportation. The significance of the Kusile Power Station project cannot be overstated, as it aims to address South Africa's persistent energy challenges and meet the growing demand for electricity across the country. With the nation's economy heavily reliant on a stable and abundant power supply, the successful completion of this project will play a pivotal role in powering the country's continued growth and development. Beyond its immediate energy-generating capabilities, the Kusile Power Station project also represents South Africa's commitment to investing in robust infrastructure that can support its long-term sustainable development. The project's scale and complexity serve as a testament to the country's engineering prowess and its ability to tackle large-scale, high-impact initiatives. As the Kusile Power Station project progresses, it will not only contribute to South Africa's energy security, but also create employment opportunities, foster technological advancements, and inspire further investments in the country's energy sector. This ambitious undertaking stands as a symbol of the nation's unwavering determination to secure a brighter, more prosperous future for its citizens. 1. Vista Park Extension 3. Sustainable Township Development Nestled within the vibrant heart of South Africa's Free State Province lies Bloemfontein, one of the country's three capital cities. It is here that the ambitious Vista Park Extension 3 project is taking shape, aiming to redefine the landscape of urban development. This 126-hectare mixed-use township project is poised to create a comprehensive and sustainable living environment that caters to the diverse needs of the community. At the heart of the development are 5,320 residential units, encompassing a harmonious blend of low-cost housing, social housing, affordable housing, and open market-bonded units. Beyond the residential offerings, the Vista Park Extension 3 project has been meticulously designed to foster a thriving, self-sufficient community. Strategically placed within the township will be business and retail opportunities providing residents with convenient access to essential goods and services. The project also includes the development of schools, religious sites, parks, and a hospital, ensuring that the community's social and civic needs are well addressed. Sustainability lies at the core of this ambitious undertaking. Recognizing the importance of environmental consciousness, the Vista Park Extension 3 project has incorporated a range of green initiatives that aim to reduce the development's carbon footprint and enhance its overall appeal. Through the implementation of energy-saving technologies, such as solar water heaters, heat pumps, and enhanced insulation, the project seeks to significantly lower the demand for electricity. Additionally, the inclusion of gas and cycling projects, as well as food gardening and urban greening efforts, further demonstrates the development's commitment to sustainable living. The Vista Park Extension 3 project is a testament to South Africa's unwavering dedication to promoting inclusive, and environmentally conscious urban development. By addressing the country's pressing housing challenges and creating vibrant, livable communities, this endeavor aligns seamlessly with the nation's broader development goals. As the project takes shape, 
It promises to transform the landscape of Bloemfontein, offering residents a unique opportunity to experience the confluence of modern amenities, sustainable practices, and a strong sense of community. The Vista Park Extension. Three Project stands as a beacon of progress, showcasing South Africa's commitment to building a future that is both prosperous and environmentally responsible. South Africa's ambitious infrastructure landscape is a testament to the country's commitment to economic development, technological advancement, and the improvement of the lives of its citizens. From smart city initiatives to groundbreaking scientific projects, large-scale energy facilities, and integrated urban developments, these mega-projects are reshaping the country's future. The diversity and scale of these undertakings highlight South Africa's growing role as a regional and global leader in infrastructure development. By leveraging its natural resources, technical expertise, and collaborative partnerships, the country is positioning itself to address critical challenges, foster economic growth, and improve the overall quality of life for its people. As South Africa continues to navigate the complexities of balancing development, sustainability, and social inclusivity, these mega-projects will undoubtedly play a pivotal role in shaping the nation's trajectory and solidifying its place as a key player on the African and global stage. Thanks for watching till the end. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like as well as a sub so more people can see this.